Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I just want to give you an update of my pregnancy. As you may know, I already delivered my baby and it's one week and I just want to talk to you about a few things that I wish I knew before having the baby so you can more prepare. And uh, the first thing that I need you to know is that the first week was very hard, at least the four first days, because um, until you get used to, to your baby and kind of check and notice what he wants is quite difficult. The thing is that my baby pretty much was confused that the morning and afternoon was a sleeping time and at night he was super awake and uh, of course uh, after delivering the baby we didn't sleep in the hospital pretty much. We came to the house and we were just awake all the time for at least two days. So that was horrible. I was so sensitive. I was crying all the time. Okay, I just wanna make a quick update. Uh, finally, we got home with the baby yesterday and definitely it was one of the hardest things that I ever done in my life because the baby uh, didn't wanna sleep and he just wanted to be on my chest all the time, like the entire night. And as soon as I feed him, I wanna burp him and he started crying so I had to feed him again so he calmed down. It was such a a stressful night to the point that I was crying like crazy today in the morning but thankfully I was able to sleep half an hour in the morning and I felt so recharged and like super happy now pretty much this is the third day that I have the baby and it has been like such a stressful time so it has been very crazy <laughs> it was tough by the third day uh, it was a little bit better kind of for day the same but um basically we keep researching and checking what was happening and yeah like the baby was confused with time so during the morning what we ended up doing was putting a lot of music we keep cooking and doing things like uh, pretty much the house was full of life and at night the house was quiet and relaxed so it took pretty much five days until the baby got used to that I know a lot of people keep saying that it will take maybe up to eight weeks but until now the baby has been very good and the most important thing that I will tell you right now that it took us six days to find out is that babies or pretty much newborns until one month and a half they need to be awake maximum of 45 minutes to an hour if you pass that time you are screwed oh my gosh we just learned out because of course the baby when he was awake we were like so happy we were interacting we were showing him this and that and the baby just keeps his eyes so open and alert after the hour he couldn't settle down at all so when your baby start getting this like staring just to one side they are not looking at you anymore that means that they are getting tired or they are becoming like more fussy uh, so at that point you need to put them on the crib away from the noise um, just let them cool down because that is their nap time and again if you miss that 15 minutes for them it's a lot and then you will have a baby that could cry for three four five hours which is horrible and if you're watching this video and you are already struggling and getting crazy and you don't know what the heck is happening with your baby why he's not calming down is because you are overstimulating him so seriously these two days well one day and a half that we try this technique of just making it quiet has been so much easier now because every baby is different some ones they will fall asleep right away which is amazing in my case my baby will never fall asleep so what happened is that yeah after 45 minutes or one hour he will be showing me signs that he doesn't want to be bothered anymore he wants to be like relaxed i will put him on his crib and he will be fully awake but super quiet just doing a couple of movements here and there and he will be like that for one hour and then he will be showing me signs that he wants to eat after that feeding he will fall asleep for two hours and then wake up again and eat and fall asleep again so i was freaking out because the majority of videos keep telling me oh my gosh you the baby has to fall asleep for sure you maybe will 
put him on the car, walk or do whatever it takes so they can fall asleep. I tried that, I put him on the car, we walk for walks, nothing. He will be fully awake but super quiet and relaxed. So at that point I was like, you know what, I will not stress out and just let it be. He wants to be awake. So yeah, now he we have like a nice schedule, he will be awake. We go for a walk, come back, feed and he falls asleep. So now I'm more calm because of it. So just don't stress. So another thing that I, I want to tell you is that as you can see now, this is one week. My belly is a little bit flatter which is nice. Um, so after I delivered the baby, of course, I was wearing this kind of heavy pads because I was bleeding uh, quite a lot for the first two days. And then after that, my blood has been like going little, little, little. And pretty much every time that I nurse, uh, like the, the blood comes out. Of course, I don't feel it or anything like that, but make sure to have pads so you can keep changing all the time. Uh, another quick tip and super nice is in the hospital, they give you this bottle because if you have a cut in your a vagina when you were delivering the baby, you will have stitches. In my case, I had it. And um, when you pee, normally the, it will burn you a little bit. Um, something that we ended up doing and I find it amazing is installing this so every time that I need to wash I just clean myself it's so easy I totally recommend it to do it it's just easy to clean now everybody is terrified about pooping after uh, delivering the baby to be honest uh, my diet has been like more liquidy not too many heavy things and I didn't have any problems pooping the first time and pretty much every single day it's like so slow so nice I don't have any problems and um, what I do is just before eating or anything as soon as I wake up I drink a glass of warm water that take, take me to the bathroom right away and it goes so nice and smooth so try to do that I just took one peel at the hospital to make it go easy but after that, I didn't took any type of uh, stool softener at all. Now, another thing that I want to tell you is that your nipples are going to be a little bit sore. And something important is that you have to check the way that your baby is latching. So when the baby opens his mouth a lot, he grabs more nipple. And when he does that, usually breastfeeding doesn't hurt. But if he just opens his mouth like a little bit, and just start sucking the nipple he's taking or putting a lot of pressure trying to take milk out and that will hurt you a lot so try to check videos of how to properly make your baby latch to your nipple and if you're feeling like a few days sometimes uh, he doesn't latch too well and i have to be like kind of putting my finger so he can open his mouth but he's pulling at the same time my nipple so something that helped me a lot is just putting coconut oil it, it is amazing. Uh, I put it in, yeah, like my nipples are okay. Sometimes they're a little bit sore, but uh, at the beginning I was kind of start to bleed a little bit, kind of. But now, since I keep putting a lot of uh, coconut oil, my nipples are so well, and it doesn't hurt when he tried to eat. Uh, what else I wanna tell you about? Uh, now, as a partner, if you are watching this video, I recommend you to help your wife, your the lady, the, whoever can deliver a baby because uh, the hormones are crazy and the fact that if you're not sleeping well, it is so tough. Um, sometimes I get so overwhelmed and warm and shaky and I don't know what to do, but if you have help in the house that, oh my God, you have no idea how beautiful that is. Because if you don't, yeah, if the baby doesn't calm down, you just give somebody the baby for a little while, take a break, and it helps a lot. And um, try to eat healthy, uh, and just as a partner as well, just uh, understand that we are emotional, our hormones are quite crazy right now, and um, we can take a little break. It's amazing. Thankfully, my husband has been very helpful. My mother-in-law has been helping us a lot in the house and with the baby as well. So I take a little bit of time here and there to take a break. Still, it's quite difficult. Everybody keeps saying, sleep when the baby sleep. But it's 
difficult this guy almost impossible because I feel that the baby is crying and I cannot sleep so it is such a rough thing it is such so weird so it's still if I feel like very tired even though I don't sleep I just chill out and relax for a little while that help and again the training and checking your baby's clothes when he wants to eat or when he wants to sleep um, that helps a lot so the baby has been eating kind of at night every three hours now these days that has been good and during the day he eats like every two hours so at night he finally is letting us sleep um, so yeah let's see how it goes but at the moment that is what I want to share with you I hope this is useful and don't stress out everything is going to be easy after a couple of days until you get used to your baby and your baby get used to the environment and just try to relax take a break if you need it and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and share see you soon bye Thank you.